UEFA is forecasting revenue of 2.4 billion euros for the Euro 2024 competition. But despite this, the total prize pool for competing nations is only 331 million euros, which is approximately 14% of total revenue. And the winning team will earn a respectable 28.25 million euros. But this amount will depend on a few things which we'll cover later in this video. So before going any further, first, let's get into the numbers. As previously mentioned, UEFA has set aside a prize pool for the tournament, which is expected to be around 331 million euros. This is less than the previous edition, but as shown here, still significant relative to 2016 and 2012. Every team participating in the tournament will receive a base fee of 9.25 million euros just for qualifying. This ensures that teams that don't make it past the group stages still benefit financially. But the real money starts flowing in with each step forward in the competition. So let's break it down round by round. Winning a group stage match earns a team 1 million euros and a draw brings in 500,000 euros. Advancing to the round of 16 nets the team an additional 1.5 million euros. Reaching the quarterfinals brings in another 2.5 million euros and making it to the semi-final adds a further 4 million euros to the pots. Now, let's talk about the big money, the final itself. The runners-up won't leave empty-handed, they'll earn a substantial 5 million euros. And the champions, the team that lifts the trophy, walks away with an incredible 8 million euros. So, how much can the winner actually earn in total? Let's do the math. Assuming a team wins all their group stage matches, progresses through each knockout stage and wins the final, their total earnings would be 9.25 million euros for participating, 3 million euros for the group stage wins, 1.5 million euros for making it to the round of 16, 2.5 million euros for making it to the quarterfinals, 4 million euros for making it to the semi-finals and 8 million euros for winning the final. That brings us to a grand total of approximately 28.25 million euros. But wait, there's more. The financial benefits for the winning team extend beyond just the prize money. Victory in the Euros can boost a nation's footballing reputation, leading to increased sponsorship deals, higher merchandise sales and a surge in support. So while the glory of lifting the Euro trophy is priceless, the financial rewards are certainly substantial. Now you're probably wondering what happens to the rest of the money UEFA generates. Well, that's a topic for another video, which I'll be dropping shortly. But what I can say here is that some of the funds are spent on grassroots football development, approximately 935 million euros. Secondly, prize money and club benefits. Euro 2024 prize money will amount to 331 million euros and the split will be based on participation and tournament performance. Club benefits, on the other hand, will amount to 240 million euros, based on things like the number of players released to participating national teams and the number of days each player spends at the tournament. And lastly, funds will be spent on fattening the pockets of folks over at UEFA. But that's a video for another time, so subscribe to see when it drops. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my other videos on football finance, which you can find here. As always, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more on football finance. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.